Hello everyone, and welcome back to Axiom Verge. Okay, so... We have very little left to get. We have two more guns, and then there are three hidden guns in those, um... Breach Rifts. It's also where you can find a whole bunch of extra power-ups and stuff like that. And yeah, I think we've got one more area to check out. Um... Don't know if this is it. What is it? No, no, where's Ukana? Did we do all of C? I think we did. Yeah. This is where we gotta go. Thankfully, it's pretty easy to get to. Although, I do kind of want to go into that breach that we found, because they randomly spawn around the map. And you have a chance to randomly get... I think the special weapons only appear in the hard mode versions, and I am going to do that off screen probably, because finding them alone is going to be hard enough. I actually, you know what? What I might do is I might do cut cut aheads, so we can get all of them. And that really gives um new meaning to kill it with fire. Also, I feel a little bit bad because that um, clone that we kind of killed, it just dies naturally if you leave it. We probably should have left it. Okay. And I think it's going to be above the door. Maybe it's not. There we go. That did you, buddy? Zambos. I don't know if we've glitched these particular enemies before. I'm totally just gonna kill all of the remaining bosses with this um, flamethrower. Like, honestly, dude. It is so good. It frickin' rules, dude! Imagine if Samus had a frickin' flamethrower. I mean, Metroids are, like, weak against extreme cold and extreme heat. Maybe it was just extreme cold. I'm essentially playing this to completion, by the way, in this recording session. And then, um, after that... I'm going to do the same with World of Final Fantasy, and we'll be finally set for 
for um, Majora's Mask to return. I'm sure at the the point that this episode airs, though, Majora's Mask is probably done. <laughs> things suck ass. supposed to be like a medium difficulty one. We want the hard ones. Oh god no. Oh god no. Let's get the hell out of here. I don't like those things. They're the frickin' worst. Just a strategic retreat. Man, those guys hate fire. <laughs> Actually, um, this way. And this way. And this way.
sorry these episodes are getting a little bit quiet, but it's like I've got to try and remember what I have and haven't gotten yet, if you know what I mean. Like, and I'm trying to focus on task. Guess that's the only way. <laughs> I'll take that bomb, thank you very much. Okay, we are going... Top right, I believe? Oh man, I really... I really just fucking love this goddamn flamethrower. But some of those endgame weapons sound real fucking good, so... I'm basically going to go find a way to get those, and uh, they're not required for any achievement. I just want to see what they look like, and surely you guys do too. Um, yeah, so this way, I think this way. I mean, their names are freaking awesome, I won't say them, but I've seen them. I'm sure I've gotten them before when I played this game years and years ago. But I play so many games, man, it's just hard to freaking remember. Um, yes, this is where we're meant to be. Okay, cool. I thought I saw things getting a little bit, um... A little bit... There's no good way to put it, like, a little bit breachy. I guess that's a good way to put it. <laughs> ah, yes. Probably a good idea to save it here. As if I'm gonna use anything except for the flamethrower. Like, come on. It just wrecks. Like, it wrecks everything. Look at this. Ridiculous. Those enemies are supposed to be really, really annoying. Ooh. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Glad we came back here. Power nerds, damn. Okay, where are we going exactly? I think we're going straight up, actually. Man, those fools did not stand a chance. Thanks, I don't want you bullshit. Just die and shut up. <laughs> Damn, dude. Probably a good idea to save it up here, actually. We've already gotten one upgrade, so we might as well.
Jeez, with the speed that we're going at, we might actually get a little bit of progress in this episode too. So I have put off a little bit of the game, it's just now is probably the ideal time. Dude. Trace. Wow, Elsa Nova? Yes, drones repaired my body before other Rasulki. Trace, I am sorry for my reaction earlier. You should not carry blame for Athetos' crimes. Okay. Ahead is elevator to breach. Athetos is inside. I do not ask you to kill him, just shut down breach attractor. But he will try to stop you. As always, there is a weak point. Find and destroy it. Once Breach recedes, I can help. But I cannot survive in Breach, so be careful. Athetos lives. Okay. We can lock him up or something, but no killing. No killing. Thank you. So this is you. I was originally a soldier. Does it frighten you? I think I was already at some point beyond fear. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot what I was going to say. Thanks for apologizing. Please don't kill me again. I won't. Be careful. Athetos is devious. You cannot trust him. I'll keep that in mind. Cool. Just make it. How's that for mapping? Um, oh, there is actually somewhere up to go up there. Whoops. Yoink, yoink, yoink. I almost forgot that I had the flamethrower. I could probably kill Elsa and over with this. That grass messes me up. Okay. Screw that damn grass. Jeez, Elsa Nova. Look at you. Awesome. <laughs> like, really? But goddamn. I think that is the way to progress, and we're not ready to go there just yet. We're nearly ready to go there. Well, actually, I'll probably go and find those random, randomly spawning breaches. Um,
think... I think we're done? Yeah, I think we're done. Yep, that's the whole map. Damn, son. How do you like that? Let's go and do a little bit of progress then, shall we? It's been a while. Oh, god damn it. I do not want to have to crawl all the way back around. Whoops. Oh, god damn it. Pretty sure we can still come back, and I'm gonna need to. But we're finally here. Ma'aru. <sighs> this is where the game's difficulty is gonna kick up. But we've got a flamethrower and nearly max health, so we should be okay. And we're back. I just had a visit from the aircon repairman, who will be replacing my unit today, which is, I cannot stress enough, imperative to survive in Australia <laughs> during the summer. 
So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I wasn't expecting the visit today, so that's good. Um, look at the background. Awesome. Um, I'm hoping that we can at least clear out this zone. These, these frickin' things are gonna be a real pain in the ass. Where are we going exactly? We are still at the freaking beginning, dude. Okay. I mean, I should probably save it. New area and all. I think I'm gonna have to actually break up the recording session now. Um. So I'll make this one the last for the session. <laughs> and then I might do a series of cut aheads between the hard mode areas that we actually unlock. Oh, dude. These things really freaking hurt too. They take a lot of damage. How is this thing? All right. Oh, oh, it's a boss. It's a freaking boss, dude. No, 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 we don't like that, we don't like that. Just friggin' burn and die, dude. Oh, God. I'm actually a little bit worried about our health for this one. Flamethrower seems to be doing the trick, and I knew it was going to be a good weapon. Look at that! Sentinel! Ooh, you can go up, too. Um, hmm. Okay. Nice, nice. Um, <laughs> the flamethrower, man, I swear by it. Hell yeah, look at that. Another full health node. Dude, we are cleaning up. Ridiculous. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait a second. Where'd it frickin' go? I don't think that's how it's supposed to roll. Um, I need to glitch that enemy to get through that wall. Dude. 
little bit annoying because I've got to go all the way back through. Didn't even give me any friggin' health. Damn, dude. Um, how am I gonna do this? Damn it! Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna press on for now. We'll come back and do that probably in the next episode. Unless I can get another one to appear. It's just I'm starting to worry about my health. Hmm. Sucks too, because there's like a bunch of stuff in there. Big lot of nope. Okay, fine. Be like that. In ancient days, the black head, the black-headed, retreated from the world. When, after days of war, the carrion birds circled. When graves were filled with the caskets, where the lone orphan ploughed the barley. Now, at that time, were the primordial patterns laid to rest. Their masters banished. But just as the seed of the next harvest are sown, so too are kings plot and plan for the next battle. Did they scheme and make secret dealings? Far to the east, where the sea and the mountains meet, is a cave dug out by the crashing waves. Here the kings conspired and set aside the greatest of primordial fires. 
Dinja Gizba. That was one of the passwords. With its name as the key, it laid in wait until that day, when the next Masters of Patterns again reap the harvest. Interesting. Whoa! Cleaning up all of the frickin' stuff. I actually really wasn't expecting that to be there, I just didn't like the look of those damn boxes. <laughs> damn, son. Um, hmm. Super cool if you've given me some help. Just saying. Too far to go until end game, and I don't want to reach the point of no return just yet. So let's press on. Oh, dude! I didn't jump up in here. <laughs> so lame. Cool. I might have to um, do another cut ahead at some point because the aircon man might knock on the door. Butthurt that I killed them like that. Boss from the beginning? Demon! Wrong! It's me, Athetos. Obey me. Demon! Athetos say, kill! Well, it was worth a try. Looks like I'm not actually trapped here, so maybe I can just pass through. And we will! Somehow, there is a new variant on Sudra. He's working for the Rasulki. He's important. More importantly, he has the AD. If you can still read this, kill him. He can undo everything we've worked for. I still haven't determined where he came from. If there is some alternate passage into the breach, we absolutely must find it. I am going to make at least two new variants to deal with this. Interesting. to get through here. Hmm. You know what? 
what? I bet I ruined it. So let's get back. And try it again. Slicer spins through the air, then reverses direction. Oh, so it's like a boomerang. Interesting. We're still missing four guns, and we're gonna find them, but um, not in this episode. <laughs> okay, okay. See you, buddy. Okay, this is the path up to the area of no return, so I've got to be really careful here. Whoa, what the hell is that thing? Actually. No, 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 no. Oh, a letter. Drushka's suspicions were correct. Rebirth logs show that a man named Athetos came here once before, hundreds or possibly thousands of years ago. Interesting. Okay, straight up is end game, and we're not going in there. Not just yet. We'll be picking up the last guns. But yeah. Alrighty guys, I am going to call that an episode there. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. Ring that notification bell to stay up to date with episodes. And the next one's probably going to be the last one, to be completely honest. So yeah, um, stay tuned for that. Anyway. Thanks for watching Axiom Verge, and I'll see you in the next one.